Another storyline I have always wondered about was the Roman Reigns attacker situation where you are seen in the background. Was that a concentrated effort? Was it uh, Was it just uh, hap- a coincidence? Like, was that thought out? Were, like, what were you talking about? That, that? that was a big mistake. Really? Because yeah, so it, from day one, people were like, there he is in the background. It's him. They're finally giving him a push. Yeah, that was not meant to happen. Um, so I had done my cruise, did the cruiserweight stint, um, got drafted to SmackDown, wasn't being used, um, you know, was wondering why, but you know, all right, like I'm new to this. Like, obviously, like, hopefully they want to put me in as a big, insert me into a prominent role or something like that. I said, I've I've got the portfolio of the matches. I can, you know, you've seen my work. Um, and then nothing happened. And then we think we had a show in Miami and it was, it was meant to be me, Ali and Andrade in a triple threat. And what we got, we were super excited. That's they're two of my boys. So we're like super excited. We come up with something great. We're excited to do it. And then as door, maybe it was 30 minutes before the show, they had canceled the match. And where we were all gutted, like we were like, man, this is going to, this like we structured a match which was going to showcase us all, like, and high energy, exciting. Everyone kind of looks great in it, like, and they got scrapped. So doing that, and then I think during the time they were doing this thing during the commercial breaks, where they'll just send a guy out, they'll stop the match, they'll just send someone out to kind of promo to the house, and then leave, so they didn't have to wrestle. And it was just like a thing for a couple of weeks. So the first time I did it, I did the promo, it went online. Um, and then I did it the following week and I'm like changing it up. And then, okay, like that didn't go online. And then they gave me one and then it got scrapped. And then they gave me another one. I'm like, say something like this. I said, I don't feel comfortable saying this stuff. And they're like, why not? I said, because you're saying, I feel like an idiot saying it. Like it's, you're saying, oh, you know, once the best kept secret will be revealed, but you haven't even told me when that's going to happen. And I feel silly saying it over and over and over and over and over again when I don't, I could be saying this for two and a half years yeah. for all I know. So they gave me this promo to do. And I, I was, I was like, again, like, why are we doing this? And I said, I'm not saying that. And they go, what would you want to say? I said, I'll think about it. So I walked down the, down and I went like between some cases and I'm like, and I'm just kind of like going over some stuff to get some thought, like use the fire that, you know, cause I was ticked off that, you know what I mean? Like you keep giving me these things, they're not going anywhere. And I don't want to say the same thing over and over again. So as I'm doing, I'm kind of, then I kind of like look over, I see Roman walk past and I'm like, okay, like whatever. Didn't think of anything to it. Left the show, did the promo, left the show. Um, and I left a little bit earlier and then I got a random message from Elias and he goes, did I just spot a wild mirth? I go, what are you talking about? Oh man. And he goes on SmackDown. I go, what? And then I went on Twitter and man, it was blown up. And I'm like, oh shit. Like, Every, everybody was like, oh, this is it. This is the push for Murphy. They thought it was, they, I thought it was me or Goldberg. And, and people and, were like, because Goldberg had the same kind of baseball yeah. team. And the angle and was the, total oh, dog shit. Like it, it, looked, it looked horrible. Like the, they set up a camera on the thing that fell on Roman. It was the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. But people were like, oh, well, if it gets Buddy Murphy on TV, like that's what people were excited about. And it was great because it, it did yes. <laughs> by accident. And um, like, I'm obviously sitting there going, that's not meant to happen. That's not what they want. I hope this doesn't fall negatively on me in a way of, you know, um, especially when the boys are texting you going, yeah. hey, do I just want a wild Murph. And then they're thinking things and I'm like, oh shit. But to be fair, they didn't yell clear. They didn't, you know what I mean? They should yeah. make sure that I didn't get there. That's so, a very happy accent though. Cause the match that you guys had was like that. And that's what people point to. They're like, Oh look, there's buddy Murphy. He had this kind of match. Him and Roman Reigns have main pay-per-view main event quality chemistry here. 
yeah, I think that that was my big, big coming out, right? I obviously did all the stuff in the cruise way, and then I sat in the back for however long. The rape, the um, the whole reins thing kind of came where he was throwing me around and stuff like, and I'm just happy to be be a part of it, right? I'll take whatever I can get, um, and I'll do it to the best of my ability. And then I remember it was meant to be like one week that they. I get there and it's me and Roman in the main event of SmackDown. And I'm like, what is going on? And then we had to do like some meeting for whatever thing for a couple of hours. Then we come back and then the match was gone. And then Roman pulled me aside. He goes like, I don't care about doing the match. But tonight's not the night we do it. Like it's just, we're, we're rushing. And I'm like, okay, but I'm like so deflated. And then, um, like that SummerSlam weekend where I, where I first met you, we're talking and I'm just talking shit on Twitter, right? Like, <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm wrestling Roman on SmackDown and and Roman was awesome to put that together with. Like, he kind of gave me the the reins. He goes, oh, blah, blah, blah. And then he obviously tweaked it a little bit, but I felt like he wanted to help me. I wanted to just bring it and I wanted to kill it because that's what I'm used to doing. And you know what I mean? It was it was it was a Buddy Murphy style match. You know, it was a cruiserweight match with a guy that was, you know, would get critiqued that he couldn't wrestle or, yeah. or whatnot. And then he's just he's basically saying F you, I'm saying F you, like and it was like to this day, people people keep talking about it. And it was a massive learning learning thing for me. 